Hey everybody, it's Danielle here from DKW Styling. I am in my bathroom. I'm going to do kind of a short product slash hair tutorial. My baby's in the background, so she may appear in this video. If you're new to my videos, I specialize and I do hair. I love color and I specialize in hair extensions. So if you want to find out more information about me or see some of my work, click on the link below this video and that will take you directly to my blog. Or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to find out more uh, hair products that I'm loving, styles, hair tutorials. I recently started doing a little bit of fashion blogging. So if you want to see that, click on the link and then you'll see some of my looks. Okay, so have you been at the Beauty Supply or Ulta or Sephora or wherever and you're like, I wonder what kind of curl pattern this crazy wand does. So, I have tons of wrap curling irons that I've never used. This one's just a bedhead one. Um, it's called Rock and Roller. Anyway, this is kind of the curl it gives you. And when I curl hair, what I like to do is I usually section, I have hair extensions in, so I section off the top of my hair first. And I know it's already curled, so you're not going to get the full effect, but sometimes I do tutorials and they're so long, I just figured I'd do it and then kind of show you how I created that look. So this is, you, what you want to do with this type of curling yarn is you want to kind of hold it upside down. It came with a glove, but I don't usually use a glove, but I do hair for a living, so I'm pretty good with irons and different things like that. So whenever I'm doing a wrap curl, you want to start with probably smaller one inch sections. Um, and then you're going to direct the curling yarn down, and then I wrap away from my face. So I'm just going to kind of give you an example of how I do it. So you can kind of see, you can put your curls right in between those little knobby things. And then if you want to go tighter to the base, start wrapping the curling iron up. This curling iron is cool because you can kind of move it back and forth. Let the curling iron sit there for a minute and then loosely just kind of like let the curl come undone. Let the curl sit like that. Don't do, don't just kind of let it cool and then kind of toss it. If you let the curl cool, it'll give you a tighter curl. Now, make sure to prep your hair with some kind of heat protectant. I've already gone in and curled mine, so I already put a lot. This is a new product I'm trying. It is by Organics. I don't know if anybody has tried this, but it is a mix between a Moroccan oil and an argan oil. Now, I prefer an argan oil because it's a little bit thicker than, say, a Moroccan oil. And I wear hair extensions, and I just feel like if you wear hair extensions, you have to have some kind of oil for your hair. So anyways, I thought I'd try this one. So I went in and put a little bit of this already in my hair. So once you go through and you kind of wrap each section, on the other side it's a little bit tricky too, so I'll show you one on this side. I'm going to have a one inch section again. And you want to again, remember when you're using a wrap curling yarn, you want to direct it down. And you're just going to wrap, notice how I'm wrapping that around and away from my face. And then I'm just going to kind of loosely let go and get the curling iron out of there. Okay, so anyways, that's how I achieve these curls. I don't know if you guys have ever used a wrap curling iron and you get it wrapped in there and you're like, why did it kink? It's just because it's a tighter curl, so sometimes you get a little bit of a kink. I also use, when I get done, if there's spots I need to smooth over or fix, this is just a hot tools iron, but... I like it because it's ceramic and I feel like it really helps give you a nice smooth curl. This is a 3 4 inch um, and this is probably like my everyday curling iron that I use all the time. But say when you get done, if you just feel like you need to fix a few pieces, I have this one turned on as well. If there's some that are kind of kinked or just not curling, I kind of run this through and smooth out any extra pieces. And if you even curl a few with this curling iron, it looks cool because it gives you like two different curl patterns. Okay, so that is what I use. Those are the two, two irons I use to curl my hair today. And um, when I let the top down, I kind of go in, you know, and do a few more of these wrap curls. Because my real hair is a little bit finer, but you can see kind of how that makes that cute kind of wave. Okay, if you want a more polished curl, Take your paddle brush, you're going to brush those curls out. This side I'm going to do smooth and this one I'm going to do messy so you can see the difference. 
Okay, take more of your oil. Starting at the ends, working your way through. Now you start at the ends so that the top of your head isn't too flat. You don't want as much oil on the top. So this is really gonna give you a more smooth, polished wave. Okay, on this side, say I want a more messy wave. I'm just gonna kind of run my fingers through this, kind of toss it a little bit. I think I'll throw one more curl in right here, actually, to give it a more messy effect. Okay, best product ever, Redken Quick Tease. I want this side to be a little more, a little more rock and roll, a little more messy. Kind of that Sarah Jessica Parker, messy, messy. Okay, so this almost gives you like a really cute beachy texture. I don't know, for summer, I like that. Okay, messy, smooth and polished. I don't know, I kinda like them both, but in the summer I kinda like more of a beachy look, so maybe I'll kinda mess this side up. Anyways, that these are my two products for this style. Quick Teas and the Organics Oil. So anyways, this is the iron I use today if you wanna achieve this curl. And again, my other favorite, Hot Tools. 3 4 inch iron. Okay, you guys, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Some fun um, products to get. I always like to try things out on myself before I try them on my clients. Anyways, you guys, we'll see you next week. Check out my blog, click on the link below this, or subscribe to my YouTube videos, and we'll see you guys next week with another tip, trend, or fashion or style that I'm loving. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bye.